welcome back to my channel again if you are new please subscribe like comment share I really appreciate it um, and today we have a mukbang a Popeye's mukbang hey. you guys were asking for it y'all also asked us to collab with Luciano, the Luciano family and here we are what it do what it do people what's up you guys Luci gang in the house and turn it up so we came out here today and we're about to have this little mukbang Popeyes. We got chicken, we got fries, we got chicken sandwiches. They got apple pies. Apple pies, drinks. I don't know how many of these uh what are these? Okay, got Red beans and rice. Kingston's waiting on his uh sandwich. Kingston said where where's the sandwich at? Yeah. They, they, they didn't give you no uh no hey. biscuits. I ordered uh eight biscuits. So, oh, are they in the back? Are they in the back? No, they're not in here. Uh, Where's the Popeye's bag? No. And, and you know what? And you know what? I kept going. I kept going through it. Like you should have red beans and rice in there. You should have apple pies. They're like, it's in there. It's in there. And everything hey, I was checking, I was like, okay. The here's biscuits the are gone. Yeah, that's the whole. That's purpose. the that's the purpose of Popeye's. For me. Really though. Me too. Oh well. Uh, are you gonna eat the red beans and rice? I get this right So here. I'm gonna start with the sandwich. Look, you need this box right here, bro? Yes, sir. Look, he said he, really, he wasn't really feeling this one. Oh, because he's he, he like on a health kick. He's like, man, I thought it was going to be a whole food. I like the good old spicy chicken with the bone in it. With All right, bone. big announcement. Wait a minute, wait a minute. I forgot. So the reason this mukbang had to happen today is because I will officially be competing, doing a bodybuilding competition. So this is my last cheat meal. So I had to look how mighty swole. You know what I'm saying? She's gonna, she gonna really hey. work now. I'm gonna have to like uh. I'm gonna have to start acting right. So then the next month, bang, lucky she will gonna, be. She gonna grade by the college, you know. She she be, she be fucking me in the hallway. Uh, the next great. time it will be a whole foods. Uh, yeah, yeah lucky. whole foods. I, I fuck with whole foods. I like whole foods. All right, low key. We have date night. I ain't gonna lie. Whole foods. Yeah, I'm gonna grab a spoon. Anybody? Yeah, go ahead. All right, for real. So you guys, um, our kids are like literally running around the whole entire house. So y'all hear them in the background? Yeah. You That's know what's going on. Like, nobody had babysitters today. When nobody trying to babysit our kids, they're like, so, it's the weekend. Is this your first time trying the sandwich? First time. We tried, tried it before. Pretty good. And you guys, we try to do this on our channel. We try to go get it when the hype was going. Man, they ain't have it nowhere. And we went to like two, three different Popeyes and they didn't have it anywhere. And then we finally got our hands on it like not long ago. And what what do you think about it? Yep, so Chick-fil-A or Popeyes? Let me see, let me see. This one got a little cold, I ain't gonna lie. It is a little the, cold. The biscuit. <laughs> well, first of all, the Popeyes, I'm not gonna say which location. <laughs> um, no, call them out. <laughs> I, I, I was about to park, and my soul was like, "Why are you parking? Go through the drive-through." She said, "You know, she she didn't want to eat." <laughs> and I was like, "My bad." So uh, I tried going through the drive-through. I start ordering. I said first, I said first, um, do y'all do the Migos uh, meal or whatever the Quavo? Let me get two takeoffs and the Quavo. And, hey. <laughs> and they were like, "Nah, that's only through the app." I said, "Okay, well, let me just order the items." And they're like, man, is it going to be a lot? You might want to come in. It's easier. I said, all right, fine. I park, I go in. As soon as I walk in, they're already looking. Welcome no. back to Popeye. Welcome back. He got Rewind. a big order. Rewind. When you went through the drive-thru, they were like, you said we wanted four large fries. And they were like, like damn. Why? You're probably good with two. You're probably good with two. You know they're 464 each. They're 464 each. <laughs> and I they know. were little. And then they asked, they didn't even give you a large. I know. A large is the whole box. Trippin'. So calling you out, Popeye's. Popeyes in spring. The sandwich is good though. In spring. <laughs> I had to tell them. They got that good little spicy sauce, so I'll give them that. Mm-hmm. I'll give them that. Yeah, I didn't like the original one. When we finally got our hands on it, we tried both. I got uh, the original one and the spicy one. And we had to split it in half because I didn't like the original one. But so what, what was the big hype about it? Just that it was a spicy shit? I, think I, don't, so know how, I don't know how it blew up because it was out like last year. It was out. You know what I'm saying? But then all of a sudden, the so middle of the year, in the middle of the year, it blew up. 
for no reason, like a celebrity talked about it. I or have what? no idea because, a matter of fact, we went to Popeyes in one of our old vlogs, and when we rewatched it, it was a sign on the thing that said, "Do you want to try our new chicken sandwich?" And this was right before the hype. But and the automated thing that you know when you pull up and they're mm -hmm. like. It, it asked him, would you like to oh, try yeah. our new sandwich, our, our chicken like, no. sandwich? And he was like, no. But no, that no. was before we had heard about it. I'm pretty sure it's because someone did like a Chick-fil-A versus Popeyes and then like... That was it. Mm. You want to I think you're right, I think so. Shit. Yo, so look, um, I want to show you so. Luck just showed me he's selling 30 of his titles on one USB. Which is branded, it's on his website, comes with a lanyard. What's yep. your website, Lucky? LucianoTV.com. And you can go cop the USB preloaded with 30 albums on it, and it got a little room left for you if you need to use it for something. <laughs> <laughs> so we selling you some data space too. Mm hmm. And it's I got not data like, space for the low. It's not like the little cheap USBs, the plastic ones. It's actually like a really nice material. It's branded. Yeah. It has its logo on it. And uh, that's that's a lot of value. I mean, I don't know how much you signed up for. How much are they going for? Thirty nine ninety nine. That's a lot. That's a steal. Yeah, because it's like it's thirty albums. If that's you did a match, ten dollars a piece. That's three hundred dollars you're getting for thirty nine ninety nine. Yeah, no, that's a steal. <laughs> Especially in this game. How many pounds total is that? Shit. I'm mean, sorry. <laughs> There's a baby shark one in there too. <laughs> <laughs> that was a mistake at the factory. Don't worry about that part. <laughs> Where was that at? I mean, where was that at? Where'd you record all these? Are they just throughout the years? Like, you just the years. Yeah, they're old from throughout the years. So I have, um, it was actually my friend Bert, it was his idea. So he was like, I'm gonna get all your albums together and we're gonna put it on a USB and then we're gonna sell it. You know what I'm saying? So I was mm. like, cool. So he went and got all the albums together. Well, while he was doing that, he was getting the songs off his desktop and he was putting them on his computer on his desktop. And then when he was getting the albums off his desktop, putting them on the file, the folder to send to me, he accidentally put a Baby Shark song because his daughter's always watching Baby Shark. That's hilarious. So, so not only do you get 30 albums for the bangers, <laughs> extra data space, we even gonna throw in something for your kids. Right? Baby kids. Shark. Do, 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 do. <laughs> what if? Oh my god. Like, oh, like, no, wait. They're like, Lucky, Lucky about to start rapping. Which part? Wait, what if y'all did do a rap? Baby shark on the thing. You right. and Chingo should do it. Right, right. How hilarious would that be? We going viral. We going viral. It's a must. Oh my god. Yeah. So I had to have him come over today and fix that issue. But for the flash drives that we already mailed out, they got the baby shark sign. They got right the there. bonus track. They got the bonus track. That's how we found out about it. Somebody actually messaged us or emailed us saying, hey, Why is there a baby shark song? There's a baby shark song. Was that like intentional? And I was like, babe. <laughs> it's, a, it's an Easter egg for the fans. <laughs> It's like a little surprise. The gold egg. You don't have a big a gold egg house. Some of y'all got it. Some of y'all not going to have the baby shark. But <laughs> that baby shark one's going to be a collector's item. <laughs> but the good thing is that the fan took time to go through your catalog and, and yeah. listen and yeah. go and listen back to you throughout the ages. Like, mm -hmm. you know, to hear 20 year old Lucky and so on and so forth. And that's how they stumbled across the. Uh, and then that hiccup. The <laughs> that's funny. Unless you know they listen, though. How far down is the song in there? It was like track two. Oh damn! On the on one of the albums on the north. That's almost that's almost <laughs> funny though. Like y'all did it intentionally. Y'all shouldn't have said nothing. <laughs> It'd be like surprise. <laughs> Make sure y'all. This, this is a this is the the fa the father uh, right? side yeah. of, that's of what Lucky. I'm like, you tell got me got got Yeah, you know you got them kids. <laughs> <laughs> like side A, is the, side A is the party side. Yo, this chicken sandwich is hitting the spot. It is. It's really good, even though it was yeah, it's cold. It's pretty spicy though. It's I love it. It's really good. So what y'all got? Uh, how was y'all's Christmas? Man, good. Christmas kicked my ass. I ain't gonna lie. And Christmas is getting more expensive every year. I feel like. Who are you telling? Especially when the kids are little, little, then you can buy them cheap little toys and stuff. But now they want gadgets. Yeah, when they get older, I feel like they they get more expensive. The the are y'all do y'all do one big gift or y'all do several little gifts for the older ones? Um, we sure. do like two or three gifts. To make sure yeah. big ones. Uh. Well, like Kingston got. What'd you get? Some J's. He got uh, <laughs> a game. He got two PS, games and some Jordans. And I got three Apple gift cards. Yeah. I heard, I heard you got a basketball too. Oh, yeah. 
Yeah. yeah, and then the oldest got a gold chain and a gold bracelet. And oh yeah, they got hooked up. Uh, Penny took over one of your baby's uh, uh, laptop set. It's okay. <laughs> she's right there. No, I brought her iPad. Okay. No, she's on a laptop. Oh, she's, no. she's right there. She's like three inches away from the screen. She's leaning so, on the keyboard. One of our other kids got a Chromebook for Christmas. Not what? from us, but their grandparents. But yeah. Dang. Her kids are very blessed because... That would never happen to me when I was. Uh, yeah, she was asking me for the Chrome, but I wasn't gonna buy. I need my own laptop. Yeah, we got Mickey just one, one big gift. One big gift, yeah. Yeah, I saw I that. Y'all got her. Y'all got her a uh, debit card. Mm -hmm. So was it preloaded with some money? Is we put course? money on it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so it's a bank account. It's a bank account. We put money in. And, because uh, that money we were gonna spend. Okay, really, this is this is why I even I'm so glad I really I really really did that. Well, we did that was because I cleaned out her closet. Brand new toys in there that she had never like they were open like maybe for a Christmas or a birthday. And she just left them. And in they there. just put them in the closet and totally forgot about them. And I was like, see, that ain't even right. <laughs> so I actually uh, re-gifted those. Gifts to someone else, to someone else, yeah. so like you know, um, and their kids, you know, because they don't have a lot, so I just mm -hmm. figured they could use them, you know, it'd be nice for them to open a bunch of gifts for mm -hmm. Christmas, so that's what I did, and uh, that's when I, I, I was telling Ching, I was like, I'm so glad we didn't get her things because they're probably going to end up just in the closet again, you know what I'm saying? So I was glad I didn't get her nothing. That's what I say. Like, we try, well, he likes to get the girls because he says they're easy. Mm -hmm. Like, a lot of little stuff. But I'm just like, you don't understand. Like, I'm the one that goes in there and helps them clean whenever mm -hmm. we do like a deep cleaning. And we end up throwing all of it away. Because it, it entertains them for a little while. Yeah. Right? yeah. They and then they forget it. about it. They play with it for a little bit. And then after that, they just have a mess. So, you know what my friend does? She says, when they're done playing with it, she says they're no longer interested in it. She puts it in their closet, and then like she waits a couple of months later and brings it out, and they're like, "Yeah, like they make what a is brand this? new toy, a brand new toy, like stuff." And now like she just like re recycles it. They, they forget about it. She puts it up. For, yeah, my These kids would never. They'd be like, "Mom, that's old." <laughs> they remember. That's last season. <laughs> what are y'all? Uh, what's the ages from top to bottom? Fifteen, twelve. Yes, Nine, <laughs> seven. seven and seven, and then uh, Houston, which okay. he's a year and a half, and then baby on the way. You barely have any belly. No, I do have belly. Girl, what are you talking about? <laughs> Itty bitty. She barely starting to show. <gasps> you That's guys, I, I know. It barely starting to show. I was telling her before the camera started rolling that it's funny I brought Popeyes because. This is kind of how I found out we were having a boy with Houston. Oh yeah. So we were planning a whole gender reveal and we ended up not having it because um, he was at work and I was at school and I didn't have lunch that day. So I was like craving Popeyes this day and then I was like, I need Popeyes. And he's like, I gotta go back to work. I can't get it for you. And I was so mad that I came home and I made me like a, a ham and cheese sandwich and I called the doctor I was like how is he gonna throw me a gender review if he can't even get me a two-piece from Man, Popeyes I was mad I came home with the Popeyes though I just didn't tell her Wait, I was bringing it yeah, I was he trying didn't to tell surprise me. her he didn't tell me he was bringing it and so then I'm so now you're pulling off a sandwich no I'm <laughs> you're eating my sandwich so I was like I'm gonna call a doctor I don't want a gender reveal no more so I call the doctor and then I'm like it's a girl huh and they're like are you sure you want to know I was like yes tell me I'm mad I don't want a gender reveal no more they're like it's a boy and I started screaming uh, I was like, so he walks home he walks in the house with this Popeyes in his hand and I'm sitting there like just jump the guilty uh, <laughs> I felt so guilty <laughs> and so we're eating the Popeyes and he's like why are you smiling because I'm just staring at him like I know something. Yeah. <laughs> and I was like, I know what we're having. He's like, it's a girl. I'm like, no, it's a boy. And so that that kind of like. That was our gender reveal. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> he wasn't even mad at me because he was happy that we we're having a boy. But but that's the type of shit we got to deal with. Women are pregnant. Okay. You want to know what's crazy? I had no cravings. Really? That's like. You're lucky. She was craving yesterday. It was. Like we arguing yesterday. I had none. The only thing I always wanted was everything. I already liked spicy food, but it like escalated. Mm -hmm. Like I really wanted everything spicy. Like 
What was the only thing I guess I craved was the spicy corn. Like, elote. like the elote in the cup. Mm -hmm. Like that's really what I wanted. And that was the only thing. It was that one time and that was it. And she had a little Cortez on. You know, <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, baby, this is a bad neighborhood. We should probably. <laughs> Sure? Yeah. This time around, I think the weirdest craving that I had, I hate tomato juice or anything that's mm -hmm. like, you know, too much tomato. For some reason, like at the beginning of this pregnancy, I tasted like what you would call like clamato or something. Mm -hmm. Like just pure clamato. And I hate it. Clam. Clam. Yeah. Talking about, give me a michelada. The what? It has clam juice in it. Oh, it does? Clam? Oh, oh, that's clam. bad, right? That's bad for you? Not necessarily, you? but... But that's probably why you probably had like a weird taste, right? Is that what you were saying? Well, I tasted it, and yeah, I tasted it in my mouth. I never, I didn't have it. I didn't drink it. She just wanted it. Just, oh, like my mouth just, was just oh, so watery. Like it was like oh, you were crazy. The yeah. taste. Oh wow. Well, yeah. I didn't have no symptoms. Chew had them. I was the one. So he was crazy. tired. <laughs> he was always peeing. Damn. What the hell? <laughs> What the hell I got to do? You <laughs> and, then, and then he was always craving food, like what we eat next. I'm like, we just ate. He's like, you're not hungry, She's like, like is your cycle on? I'm like, I don't know. I think my cycle catching on to your cycle. That's <laughs> funny. Yesterday she wanted some chocolate chip pancakes. Yeah. I'm like, man. <laughs> <laughs> Where are we going to find some chocolate chip pancakes? And I'm hungry, driving on the freeway, passing up hella restaurants. But they ain't had you chocolate know, chips. Uh, Snooze has them. Uh, no, we ended up finding uh, a place that complimented both of our like, cravings. Because he wanted lunch, I wanted that. I and wanted some Mexican food. I can eat Mexican food every day. But we eat Mexican food every day, Jeez, so I'm just like tired of it. Pancakes. But we ended up finding La Peep somewhere. Oh, on, La Peep on, is on, good. On yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we love La Peep. La Peep is really good. How y'all like living on this side of town? I like it's not so congested as over there. It's like hella traffic over there. Too many people, like just to go anywhere. It's too many damn people. I like it too. Where did y'all live before? Y'all were in the city? Oh, no, well, I lived before this house. I lived um, not far from here. Oh, so but, you still lived over here on yeah. this side? Mm -hmm. I've been living on this side for a while, but I did used to live over there on 59 and um, Rich. Remember when I had the over there? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Of Richmond and Sage, right by the Galleria. So I saw y'all are y'all are looking for a new house this year. Yeah, yeah that's same that's area. We're growing out of this space. We same area. Well, we went to go look at one yesterday. And it was like really south. It was in Richmond. But the area, like, I didn't really like. I, I knew the area, area wasn't. Grown, right? Yeah, the area is growing in Richmond. Yeah. It's just sugar land. Mm, like, it was just kind of like, nah, nah. I, the house is good. It was pretty, but just the area is just like a deal breaker for me. It was like too uh, populated, really? too, and then it, it kind of looks like it doesn't look nice. Just driving down that really? street. Man, what I feel like it's lot? not populated out there at all. Well, when we've been out there to like go to well, the it's off of 99. This one, right. it was off some street, FM something. It was when you go down that long street. and then But if you hit the main street, which is like 59, it's like uh, First Colony and all that, you know? So that's oh, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, sugar, that's Sugar Land. Yeah, sugar it was closer to Sugar Land. Mm -hmm. it was, it was, that was the exit, Grand Parkway. That was the exit. And then you do a U-turn. So it's before Grand Parkway. Mm -hmm. Got it. Okay. My aunt lives out there and uh, in Richmond. Her little neighborhood's nice. Like it looks. Yo, I ate every little bit. I know. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Mine had a lot of fat in it. It was kind of. What, the, the bones? Look at Popeye's that. all messed up because. I wanted the biscuits. I know. That's yeah, what I, yeah, I know. I was looking at the honey. I'm like, I got the honey. Yeah. Are y'all sure there was nothing in them bags? I mean, me and Jip, man, I was like, make sure it's all in there. It's probably in the I was like, all the pies in it, cause they put it together quick. They were like, boom, 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 boom. Here, I was like, wait a minute. Where's the, where's the lemonade? Where's the pies? Where's everything? Do y'all usually put the honey on the biscuit? Honey and butter? Uh, usually just probably just honey. I skip on the honey. Church's chicken got the best biscuits. Church's? Church's chicken. Type in the comments down below. Let me know if y'all do the butter and honey. The Church's honey. chicken butt biscuits, they already come preloaded with honey. I used to work at oh, Church's. Church's is, is, you're so right. <laughs> so you have, have to like, like yeah. you, yes. have to, you have to like uh, put honey on them before you put them in the oven. And they come honey. Yeah. Oh, I should do that for Mickey. Those are honey in. Yeah. 
So you, they like put them on the rack and then right before you put them in, you like get the little brush and dip it in the honey and just Wow. We, we could probably do that with croissants in the oven, right? Like, yeah, because that's what I make or sometimes for breakfast. I'll make her biscuits or whatever. But I usually do butter. I'll just do butter on top. And she and then she'll get the uh what is she doing? She's playing. Um and uh and then she'll do the uh Nutella. Mm. Love her some Nutella boy. Nutella's yeah. expensive, man. <laughs> it's like five dollars. And it, all it is is chocolate, right? That's more than yeah. that's more than the that's more than four sixty four. You know they four sixty four. That was hilarious. He goes, you, man, you good man, with four? two, man, you good four? with two. Man, you probably good with two. He probably just thought it was y'all two eating. Cause at first I was like, let me get a few chicken sandwiches and let me get some fries. I was like going down the list. He's like, oh man, you probably good with two, man. You sure you need four? I'm like, damn. And he's like, and then, and then Jingo's like, oh, I'm gonna do a big family order. I'm like, it's yeah, you should probably get off. He's like, get off. He's like, cause yeah, uh, you might want to just pull, pull. You don't want to pull in. I'm like, damn. You don't want to work. <laughs> so what y'all got planned for 2020? Y'all set goals yet? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Family goals, couple goals, or just business goals in goals. general? Business goals. I got goals. business goals. I need to start spending so much money. I don't got a money problem, I got a spending problem. I, I think that I realize Say that again. Things. More money, more problems. But the thing is, like, he, he knows it, and then, like, throughout the week, he completely... It just goes in through one year and not the other. Like, he what forgets. You, what do you spend Probably most impulse. of your money on? Food. Going like, out to food. eat. Food. I spend most of my money, I think, on going out. Because I don't buy me, like, expensive clothes no more like I used to. I don't buy, like, jewelry and stuff like that. Yeah. I just, I think it's just um, going out to eat all the time. Yeah. Yeah, when the kids are at school, he usually, like, wants to go eat breakfast, lunch. And then we come home and I cook dinner or whatever. Oh, no. Wow. But yeah. like every day, like they, we go out to eat almost every day when they're at school. Oh, wow. Really? Either, either it's breakfast or lunch. <laughs> either it's breakfast or lunch He's or it's both. Really? <laughs> <laughs> I mean that school lunch. I mean that oh, I that uh, that uh, horse and cow and all kinds well, of things. Right? I was reading a book though about about that. It's called uh, Profit First. That's the name of the book. And like I was talking about in business, like when you have a a good quarter or a good month, you think that it's always on the upswing and it's always gonna be like that. So you start spending more money. And then when you have a bad month or something. You don't spend all that extra money, you know what I'm saying? Then you're trying to scramble to pay bills. What's it called? Uh, profit first. Profit first. All right, I'm gonna challenge you, Lucky, to do something. Uh oh, my son has challenges. I know. So, how much money do you spend a week on? on like, I've already on tried eat. not to go out to eat for a month. We tried to do that, and I failed. No, just try one week. Pull out the cash on tonight. Tonight's Sunday, right? So yeah. your week will start tomorrow, right? The cash for the week. So pull out your cash for the week. Is this your envelope? Envelope thing. Envelope. Yes. Yeah, I saw her vlog. So try the envelopes. Put on there like. So make one that's for like you and Kelly's going out to eat envelope budget. Uh -huh. Then you make another one for like maybe if you do one as a family, if you guys go out to do activities yeah. as a family, you make another envelope, a grocery envelope. You know what I'm you saying? Know, that's and, it's just, and it's just cash. It's just cash. Yeah. So you just gotta be careful not to misplace. It. Yeah, you gotta. We yeah. did. We did. I did. So it. that's sort of like what that book is about, the profit first. So what it, what they do is he's you open uh, more bank accounts. So it would be like what you what you're I saying think, with the envelopes, mm -hmm. but it's like five bank accounts. So you I have think, a bank account for like say your uh, business, and you have a bank account for your personal. You have a bank account for your uh, savings. You have a bank account for your taxes. Um, you know what I'm saying? You, but I don't think that that'll work because him. Since it's just like the card, like he opens his wallet and he's like, "Which one has money?" You know what I'm saying? So I know, but now you have to leave your your, your cards at home. Yeah, you can't travel so with that, them. That sounds you like have to have. So it, it'd be the envelopes in her in her purse. Yeah, and it'd be like, and then if you'll see by Wednesday, if your money's almost out. Yeah, then you can't eat out anymore because your budget. And then they, you start pulling out from the other budgets. Then yeah. your other but your other envelopes start going low. That's smart because when it's cash, you like see it yeah. going. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Yeah, that's Rather my problem. Than numbers. When you use the card, it just you just keep you charging, just swiping, keep swiping, yeah. swiping. You don't. Exactly. But yeah, when you if you carry the cash on. You'll know when it's low. Well, yeah, there's a lot of like psychology that goes into it because sometimes, sometimes some stuff we do is because like we're bored, or sometimes it'll be like, like we'll get crazy, like, oh, it's cold out, let's go get pan dulce or whatever. But sometimes it'll be just like a habit we don't even know. It's from boredom, or, or it's entertaining, it's yeah. a habit, or, or impulse, like, oh shit, this is on sale, I gotta get it. Yeah, where should we go? Uh, let's go to uh, Whole Foods. Mm -hmm. And we'll just go eat at Whole Foods. Why are you gonna go eat at Whole Foods? I think we're we there. have the food at home, the same food. 
Because we not only just bought that food from Whole Foods. Yeah. So why are we... Well, we, that's entertainment. I guess it's like get out the house. Mm -hmm. So it's like we bought the food from Whole Foods. It's at our house. But now we're going to go back to Whole Foods to eat at Whole Foods. Does that make sense? Like it doesn't make sense if you think about it. Yeah. So, but, but that's what's like. We're human. So... 80, like 90% of the stuff we do sometimes don't make sense. Yeah. We're just kind of going through the motions. For you know it, it's like, oh, oh damn. Uh, I just bought. But boredom, know. yeah, boredom. I spend money just because we're bored. Is that what you think yours is? Boredom. <laughs> I think it's stress. I yeah. feel like when he feels stressed, he wants to go eat and like just. It's like retail therapy. Yeah. yeah. Shopping. I, well, not not shopping, like eating. Yeah. yeah. It's yeah. a different eating. point. Did you grow up eating out? Mm. Yes. Yeah, my dad. Yeah, my dad would. Yeah, my dad would. We would go out to eat. Yeah. Yep, so yep. Just, he still does it. His yeah. dad still does it. Yeah, my dad still go out to eat all the time. They eat big. Yeah. And then uh, he can't just order one plate. Like, he's like the type, I want this, this, and that. Do you finish it? Yeah, I mean, <laughs> I might. Yeah. I, I finish most of it. <laughs> so you just, now you just order it to order. Yeah, because yeah, he's hungry. hungry. Wow. You gotta keep some snacks. Yeah. Keep some snacks in your in So your it's gonna be your Or oh, even when, when it's, uh, maybe it's gonna be the kids. Yeah. If we're home on the weekend, bored, and we'll be like, let's take the kids somewhere. You know what I'm saying? It might not be a restaurant, uh -uh. but we'll just. I'm the other way around. I'm just like, I don't wanna go because we be having to go. You guys, if y'all don't know, we have what? How many kids? Six, <laughs> seven, <laughs> eight, yeah. nine, ten? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, we have, okay, we so have, it's Houston, Leah. Uh, DG, King, and Elijah. So five live with us, and then one on the way. One on the way, and then one we just went to go drop her off in Victoria with his, his kid. Oh, but okay. you know we get her twice a year, so it's a lot of kids. So there's gonna be seven when she's in town. Yeah. Yeah. Who share? How is it? How is it arranged? Like who shares rooms? The boys and then the girls. You know what I'm oh, saying? so two and two. Two and two. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. That's how we need a bigger house. And that's how, <laughs> so we need another room for the for the, for the babies. babies now. They, you know what I mean? So they can share. Yeah. But yeah. you have an older boy too. Right? Yeah, he shares with Houston. And who shares with us? Well, he shares with us. Houston's be in our room. You know what I mean? Ah, he has stuff in the other room that I use for the computer computer room, office room. He has his toys in there, but he sleeps in our room. Come here. Get the kids in the <laughs> They're like, hey, y'all need to hurry up. They're like, we want some red beans. They're like, we want What's some happening? red beans. Right. So we warned y'all, our kids are in the background screaming. <laughs> she's, she's telling on him. She's saying, look, something's crying. Baby, don't forget to tell him about my tour dates, baby. Oh, yeah. <laughs> tour dates coming up. Get that plug. Yeah, yep. plug me in. <laughs> Ching, put the sound check. Uh, it's okay. It's okay. My he wants guy. to join. Oh, 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 Sure. There's one drink right there. That's what he's looking at. Like, what y'all doing? Y'all done? Is y'all done or is y'all finished? Sure. Is y'all finished or is y'all done? <laughs> Cause y'all just sitting there looking at this food. <laughs> like y'all ain't gonna eat it. Okay. Okay. So we're back. Oh. Oh. So anyway, yes, Chingo's tour kicks off January 30th. First city we're hitting is Salt Lake City. Tickets are already on sale. Uh, we got Nashville, we have Huntsville, which are also on sale. Then we got Naples, we got Atlanta for the yeah. first quarter. Oh, and Kansas City. Florida, a couple things. But anyway, yeah. hit the link. Okay. Below, buy your tickets now, because they will sell out. So, heads up. <laughs> <laughs> and she's taking the, go ahead girl, look at her, using two hands to carry it. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll take, take this. Get that lemonade. Penny's like, I like it over here. It's like, it's, it's kids and kids. I know. Yeah, over there, she's by herself, just like. I'm playing nice. with adults. Yeah. That's the only reason what, why it convinces, like, why I'm like 50-50 about another one. I'm not saying I'm for the grant for, for the record I'm not saying I'm having another one. I'm just saying like that's you what kind of want, want another one just, Yeah, yeah, just that's cause, what uh, she happy no, for him because Mickey's uh, 11 and she loves when Mickey's there But Mickey's not always there. So you know what I'm saying when she's when she's over Penny just wants to be in her room like wants to hang out with her. She's yeah. excited, you know, 
But then, Mickey wants to be on her gadgets. You know, she's she plays phone. with her for a little bit, but then after a while, she's done. So she don't, you know, yeah, don't want to Yeah, that's how her. Kingston and his brother Elijah are because when they're playing their video games and he tries to go in there, they just be like, get out. Get yeah, out. that's exactly <laughs> how they're Mickey so is. They're so mean. Yeah, Mickey will be like, so can you get Penny, please? And I'm like, she just wants to be with you, you know? So I'm just like, all right. I understand her too, you know, so I'm just like, all right. So that's the only thing that can oh. why I'm convinced that perhaps oh. she might need a. So do you want a boy or a girl? For the next one, if you don't have a boy, or you need a boy. Yeah, just two girls, yeah. So yeah, you sound you, like my dad. Do you want a boy? <laughs> Nico, yeah, the last gender reveal, the balloon oh, popped and uh, pink confetti flew out. It's real light pink. He's just, everyone's hugging, crying, <laughs> celebrating. He's all. I'm like, what, Dad? What do you mean? He's like, you gotta shoot straight, Shingo. <laughs> so you know what one of his friends said? If to get a boy, you gotta squeeze your butt cheeks. <laughs> He's like, you were squeezing your butt cheeks out. <laughs> oh, that's so weird. Weird. Oh man. You hey. So I'm now you know. <laughs> Hey, when we get the boy, I'll be like, look, you were right. <laughs> I squeezed my booty. Real tight. Booty. That's funny. <laughs> Different doing type of squat. What is it? What is it called? What are like they called? Deadlifts and stuff. Like you yeah. squeeze your booty at the top. Mm -hmm. That's hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> but she says she's done after this one. Oh yeah, I'm getting my so, tooth tied. Her tooth tied after this. Yeah. Factory is closed. It's a wrap. That's are you it. done, Lucky? Oh yeah. <laughs> That's it. He's like, I was kind of done after Houston, mm -hmm. but he needed a little play Here. buddy. You know what? <laughs> so you're you're getting back into the fitness, like um, yeah. So I've decided I'm gonna go ahead and compete, and uh, man, I need, I'm, I'm that kind of person that I need something to work something towards. Mm -hmm. So it's been just kind of hard for me to drop the weight, go back to what I was before. So man, I, just, I was looking at her old videos when we first started, uh, you know, hollering, <laughs> Holler. chit chat, and, uh, <clears throat> and man, she, like she's right, once she put her mind to that date and that goal, just stuck to the diet and doing all the stuff that needs to be done and just like a whole nother person. Humble. Yeah, I was like itty bitty. I had like, I'm like looking, I'm like just change it. I'm so depressed now. I'm like, <laughs> I'm zero <laughs> fat. Like I'm I like, all you see is like muscle and I'm just like, man, I need to get back on it. So I went on ahead and like talked to my nutritionist, talked to like my trainer. And so it's going to kick off Monday. He's like, is y'all done? Or is y'all finished? He's like, to be continued. Ooh. Look, you've been hitting the gym, huh, bro? I did. I have, but I haven't. I mean, I haven't holidays. lately. Yeah, right now it's holidays. I don't think. Well, he doesn't really hit the gym, but he does do his little he, burpees. He, he and so I work out here. You know what I'm saying? But we did go to the gym before she got pregnant. We did. We would go to the gym. Burpees work and they're hard. Yeah. That's why people, most people don't do them because they're hard. <laughs> Like uh, Sir Burpee. Yeah, we, my shout we know this. Out. Shout out to Sir Burpee. That boy, that's all he does is like Superman. burpees, and he like is swole off of burpees. And then, babe, one day, right now, right here, right now, Chingo and Lucky. Yeah. Chingo, yeah. Let's see how many Welcome burpees back I can do. To Chingo the burpees. Today we're gonna have my boy Lucky Luciano. Yeah. No, no. What, what, what was it? Oh day? my God, I don't remember what. Uh -huh. Oh, after the after the uh, day of the Unity Fest oh, yeah, or yeah, whatever, yeah. the boys Me and my came boy back. Ace was in the bag, and her, him, her, his girl, and Kelly were in the kitchen. Shout she, out to Ace and Vanessa. She was like, Oh Lord, they drunk. They in the back doing burpees. They were, <laughs> <laughs> they, were, they were in the backyard being loud, and I don't know what happened that they were like uh, competing against each other to see who could do what? the most burpees. That's hilarious. Wait, but well, when's drinking? that upload? Yes, going they up? were drunk. We already been drinking. Yeah. When's that upload going? Yeah. <laughs> drunk burpees. Drunk burpees. <laughs> oh, yeah. that's hilarious. So, all right, guys. So, thank you so much for tuning in. We done uh, ate it up. I feel the. Popeye's just sitting right here. I don't know if I'm being. Yeah. Somebody got to waddle spice. me out of here. Like somebody roll me out of here. I ate so much, well, but well, we still gotta go get those biscuits. We ain't oh yeah, I am gonna go get them biscuits. I'm gonna make room for Where's them. Where's my receipt? <laughs> <laughs> Thank y'all for coming. Thank y'all for being here. Thank y'all for the chicken. Make sure you subscribe, like, comment below, guys. Let us know what other kind of videos you'd like to see, and make sure you subscribe to the Luciano, Luciano TV. TV. You know, and stay tuned for the next one. Thank you, guys. Later.